So today we're going to take just a quick brief look at the engine system and what parts and pieces make it up. So obviously for starters we have our fuel tanks and our wings and the reason the fuel tanks are in the wings is because that really helps balance the airplane out. So if we put the fuel in the tail, obviously the tail will be heavy and then as we burnt the fuel in flight the tail will be lighter and if we put it up front then same thing it would be either heavy or too light in the nose. So putting it right in the, near the center of gravity in the wings tends to help that out quite a bit. So we have our fuel tanks and our wings and those fuel lines come down the sides of our airplane right down the sides here into the fuel selector valve and in this case in the 150 it's just an on off valve some other airplanes allow you to select left right or both tanks and then from there the fuel line is going to come out to the carburetor coming through the firewall and there's no fuel pump on a 150 because the fuel is up in the wing so on many 150s and 172s there's not an actual fuel pump because the fuel just gravity feeds down to the engine. So don't try flying upside down because your fuel won't flow to the engine. So we have fuel flowing through to the carburetor. It gets mixed in the carburetor with cool air coming in. So we have the air coming through the intake and then it mixes in the carburetor with the fuel. The fuel air charge goes through the intake pipes up into the cylinder and then gets compressed in the cylinder, ignited with the spark plug, pushes the piston back down, makes power. It's pushed out of the cylinder with the exhaust stroke and then flows out as exhaust through the mufflers and through the exhaust pipes down there. Now to make this a little bit more complex, obviously we have to make spark for the engine. So we have two magnetos that handle that. We have to start the engine somehow. So we have a starter that handles that. We need to recharge our battery after starting the engine and to run our radio. So we have an alternator mounted to the engine. We need vacuum for our instruments that are powered by vacuum a suction. So we have an engine driven vacuum pump. We then have our engine crank case and with that crankcase, we have four jugs mounted to it, four cylinders. Inside those cylinders, you have the valves and the pistons that move up and down, connected to the crankshaft. The crankshaft's connected to the propeller. It spins the propeller, so as the crankshaft turns, the propeller is turning. We have our oil sump down at the bottom that catches all of our oil and lubricates the engine and helps to cool the engine, taking heat away from some of those hot metal parts by absorbing the heat into the oil and then dissipating that with the airflow. We have our oil filter mounted to the engine. And then of course we have carburetor heat that would heat our carburetor. So we have air flowing in through the intake, through some ductwork on the side here, down to the muffler, and then gets heated around the muffler. And then that air goes to the carburetor instead of the intake air coming straight through the air filter. So we have unfiltered hot air that goes to the carburetor, mixes with fuel there, and then would uh, melt any carbice that we're getting or prevent carbice from occurring. And that is the basic parts of our airplane engine system. So now we're going to go ahead and dive in a lot more in depth into what it actually looks like, what the cylinders look like, what the valves look like, and how the actual engine runs. <laughs> 